हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश लर्निंग आई एम अंसुया शर्मा योर इंग्लिश टीचर ऑफ वीनस पब्लिक स्कूल सो टुडे स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ट्रांसिटिव एंड इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स सो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वर्ब्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज ट्रांसिटिव एंड इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स लेट इज रिमेंबर what we have already learned in our previous classes 6 7 8 8 so now what are the verbs we have already learned so the main thing to remember is the subject the object and the verb for example rubina is eating pizza so here the subject is rubina and eating is a verb okay students and pizza is the object okay so now this three things we need to remember to identify transitive and intransitive verbs so first let us know what is transitive verb action that have a direct object to deceive that action that is known as transitive verb in simple way when a action is done and to deceive that action object is there it means it is a transitive verb for example let us see here the man love his children so now the man is the subject is the subject love is a verb and whom does it man love man loves children okay students it's a object so it's a transitive verb so the action applied by this man love and it's directly having the object it's the children so student same way let's see the next one the teacher gave the lecture so now here the object is the subject is the teacher gave is a verb and lecture is a object so the action of giving the lecture is applied to the lecture okay the action of giving is applied to the lecture okay students so now same way we should only remember these three things then we can clearly identify first the subject the object and the verb it's very easy to identify the transitive verbs she crossed the street she is the subject crossed is verb and the street what is crossed here the street okay students so it's a transitive verb rohan kicked the ball rohan is the subject kicking kicked is a verb and the ball is the object on which the action of kicking is applied okay students so now let us know what is intransitive verb intransitive verb means action that does not have a direct object to deceive that action means whatever action is applied by a person it's not shown or it's not having a object to show the action only the action is shown but the object is missing for example snow fell yesterday but where did the snow fell only it's given snow fell yesterday but we should know where did the snow fall okay we failed so now this sentence is look to be incomplete when there is no object given the sentence is 
intransitive means the action which is the action of falling of snow was applied on whom it's not given okay we failed but here we is the subject failing is a verb but the failed on which subject did the students fail or in which stream did they fail it's not mentioned so it's incomplete so it's a intransitive verb one more example we'll take she is sleeping she is maybe anyone a girl a lady or a woman anyone and the action of sleeping is done okay but the object is not shown the object is missing the girl is sleeping on bed the girl is sleeping on sofa so the object is sofa bed whatever it is so if the object is missing means it's a intransitive verb the action of sleeping is not transferred to the object so next one hina talks loudly so hina is given the subject is given and talks is a verb loudly but where does she talk loudly in class at home so the object is missing when the object is not given or not shown it's a intransitive verb so it's very simple students and one more thing see it's very easy to identify the verb whatever the action or whatever the work is done it's a verb see love gave crossed kicked other actions means the other verb fell failed sleeping talks this other whatever work is done whatever action is done are the verbs and the action done on the object object like children lecture street ball are the objects means whatever objects are given whatever the work is done on like the love is given to the children the what is given by the teacher the lecture she crossed what the street so the main object is if it is missing then it's a intransitive verb so we need to remember a very simple rules which are given only to remember subject object and the verb then it's very easy to know what are transitive and what are intransitive verbs thank you